Well, hello again from Kingston. I hope you can see clearly several trees behind me which were planted this week as part of the final phase of preparation of the East End. There's that and much more in this week's update, so thanks for watching and please follow, consider subscribing. I'll see you at the end. Our first theme this week is going to be developments on the West End. It's been possible to release one or two equipments as further paving work is awaited. Otherwise, work has been progressing steadily with improvements to the area and the introduction of topsoil. Overall, there was no shortage of work on the site. with the needs of the moment driving the distribution of equipment and the activity. Later in the week, as work moved closer to the bridge, it was necessary to remove old asphalt. and it became possible to release more equipment from the site. In a move designed to clear the way for future work, Kiewit moved two of the trailers stationed on the West End. On Thursday a similar repositioning exercise would occur on the East End. There were three concrete pours this week, on three successive days. The bridge's second expansion joint on Pier 6 was finally cemented in place on Monday afternoon. Concrete work is always a team effort. On Tuesday, as that concrete cured, attention turned to pouring the diaphragm on Pier 14. Work would continue into the afternoon with a major section of the concrete span poured as well. On Wednesday, the concrete pumper would arrive again on site, this time delivering concrete to some of the walls on the earlier spans. Amongst the most important developments this week, has been the work performed by Sharp Landscaping and Construction. They have been transforming some of the areas left roughest by the essential infrastructure installations. Eventually hydro seeding will produce delightful grass margins, but laying topsoil is an essential prerequisite. In a major event on Thursday, the first of over a hundred new trees was delivered. It didn't take long to plant these and very appropriately they're going in and around the library which sacrificed several trees to construction. Any concern about the well-being of these new trees in the summer heat have been addressed by the use of special watering bags and a provision in the contract for regular watering visits. Some of you will remember last October when the platforms to install the overlooks were positioned. With the overlooks and railings now securely in place, it's time to remove the supporting platforms. A barge is positioned below to receive them. The work is not straightforward. Four one-ton electric hoists support the heavy platforms whilst a worker, operating from a bucket lift, releases the relevant fastenings. 
fully supported and lowered to the barge with the workers out of the way, they can be transported to shore where they're unloaded and removed. The easternmost spans 21 and 22 are the only ones that require a substantial amount of reinforcing rod. But the iron workers of ABF and others are making great inroads. Substantial work on the east abutment this week left it by the end of the week in a position where it appears it's almost ready for reinforcing rod to prepare it for a slab. It's always worth remembering too that a great deal of work is going on largely out of sight under the bridge and elsewhere. Looking ahead, the next expansion joint for Pier 12 is already in position awaiting test fitting and adjustment. We can certainly expect to see more asphalt laid on the west end and we certainly haven't seen the last ready mix truck to park the site. The arrival of a rental bulldozer and roller last thing on Thursday suggests to me at least that there's going to be some work on the east laydown. I hope that this week's update gave you a pretty good idea of where we stand on the third crossing. And don't forget, there's a weekly update on a Sunday. If you want to be sure of seeing it, subscribe and hit the notification. And please, if you have questions about the updates or the third crossing, leave a comment below. Thanks again. Bye for now.